Hey, I'm back in the camper, bringing you another episode. I was in Israel over 10 years ago, and looking east, I imagined exploring everything in the region from the Jordanian side. Well, I'm back, and I'm ready to explore everything from a different angle. Amman is the capital and largest city of Jordan and the country's economic, political, and cultural center. I was impressed by the colorful murals painted around the city. The public paintings exist in colorfully stark contrast to other cities in the Middle East I visited. The earliest evidence of settlement in Amman dates to the 8th millennium BC. There are passages in the Hebrew Bible referring to the Ammonites. They lived in and around modern-day Amman. The Romans conquered much of the area in 63 BC, and they ushered in a period of Roman rule that lasted for nearly four centuries. Roman rule in Jordan left ruins across the country. Some of the largest can be explored in Amman, such as the Temple of Hercules atop the Amman Citadel, there's a Byzantine church, and a palace. The imposing columns on the hill belong to the unfinished Temple of Hercules. There once stood a 40-foot tall statue of Hercules that was probably destroyed by an earthquake. If you look closely behind the temple, you can still see these massive fingers and part of an elbow. They're the only thing that remain from the statue. Another famous landmark in the city is the 6,000 seat Roman amphitheater. Now during this period in the city's history, the city was called Philadelphia. Taking a quick drive towards the Dead Sea, I stood on Mount Nebo. This is the mountain considered to be where Moses saw the promised land before he died, according to the Old Testament of the Hebrew Bible. What's mind-blowing is you can see the shining roofs of Jerusalem if the light is right. Even though the video isn't super clear, it's easier to see with the naked eye if the light is right, and I got very lucky. Having now been on both sides of the Dead Sea, I feel I have a better understanding of this region really enjoyed exploring the city of Amman. I didn't have a lot of preconceived notions before I went to the city and I went with kind of a clear mind and just walked around the city and explored the different things that I came across, including the citadel, including the Roman amphitheater, but also just wandering throughout the streets and seeing those colorful murals. There's sort of this atmosphere of artistic intention, I guess you would say, that I saw in the city that I don't see in many other cities around the world. Um, I'd love to hear your opinions if you've been there. I feel very fortunate to have visited and explored the region from both the Israeli side and the Jordanian side now. It's cool to see things from different perspectives and really explore things from both sides. Make sure you check out all my other mini dispatches from different parts of Jordan, including Wadi Rum and Petra. That's it from Amman. Now go live your life.